Hello learners, in this video we will learn how to use rating bar in Android. So first of all we need to understand what is rating bar and uh, where we will use this and what is the purpose and uh, some properties. So here you can see this is a, a rating bar. Uh, it's used for take the rating for your services as well as rating for your product so that other other customer can see what is the rating of uh, this uh, this this product or service and so they can think about the earlier experience of uh, their uh, earlier experience of their, their service user uh, for and uh, know about this about from this rating and uh, you normally see this type of rating most of the site like tutorial site Udemy as well as Google has also Google application there you can also provide the rating for app and e-commerce site where you can provide the rating for their product okay so this is the purpose of a rating bar and there are some properties with the help of you can control the look and feel of uh, this rating bar by default uh, rating bar come up with the icon of uh, the star okay and uh, default color but uh, with the help of progress tint and secondary progress tint you can change this color and for customization you can use your own icon here okay so it's up to you how you uh, means uh, how you want to customize this and here you can select we will uh, you can apply a listener on this rating bar and uh, in that listener we will update the selected value uh, by user in this test view so let's get started to make this rating bar okay so first of all add a rating bar in our layout file for that rating bar okay and uh, add a number of star which you how many star you want to add here so here you can see or most is to a coding part and here add number num stars I want six stars okay as well as I told you progress tint when it's used for showing a field and uh, it's used for showing empty like secondary tint is used for okay color primary ok as well as we need to set the constraint of this so first I will set horizontal constraint of rating bar ok as well as set the bottom or vertical constraint only for bottom so set here ok and uh, change this default rating bar id to rating 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 for app ok and uh, change this to test v2 to rating by user okay 
now go to main activity and apply a listener on a rating bar rating bar app set on rating bar change set on select a lambda expression from here and this is a value of uh, selected rating by user so we'll update our test view test with this value so to string okay so let's run and see the output it's uh, working or not here okay and uh, you can check now the default value for our test use test initially but when you click on a rating bar and select some rating from a rating bar this value is updated as per user rating as per given rating by this rating bar okay so it's loading so you can check here this progress tint let me show you what is the purpose of this progress tint and uh, we are like this is field portion is coming for this field color coming from your progress tint and this color come from your secondary progress tint okay so whatever you color apply here you can do that okay now our application is going to launch and after that we will check how it will work okay apart from that you can uh, play around with the more properties for to customize your own styling apply your own styling with on it apply your own drawable at the place of star okay now check this this is your uh, progress tint or you can check here just a minute okay so you can check uh, selected uh, rating is filled with our progress tint and uh, secondary progress tint with our this is used for these colors okay so that's all for this video stay tuned and like share and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much